Dad was here. Oh? To talk about Hope and Liam's big day. But that isn't happening because you haven't signed the annulment papers, right? That's why he came here. To get me to do that. Did you? I just hope you didn't let your father talk you into doing something you didn't want to do. I just, I don't understand why this has to happen so fast. A quick annulment? A quicker marriage? Does everyone just expect me to be okay with pretending my marriage never existed? Ready to start her life with Liam? Please tell me that Steffi agreed. I think we better stop the ceremony. What? No! I'm sorry. Uh, is something wrong? Yes. Go, please. Um, Rich, Rich, what's going on? Tell me. I don't. I wish I did. Everything was fine, then Ridge came walking in. Yeah, where do you think he was, anyway? Hang on, why did he show up so late? He was here earlier. Obviously, he had to leave for something. It must have been important to almost miss the wedding. And then he stops the ceremony? <sighs> why do I think that Steffi's involved in this? I am so glad you didn't sign these papers. And I'm also sorry that your father tried to pressure you into signing these, too. I, I, I'm really surprised. No, why? Brooke wants it, therefore Dad wants it. Yeah, but he's been so supportive. No, and, and he still is. But you know how it goes if Brooke wants Dad to come over here and force me to go along with him? All she has to do is bat a few eyelashes and cry a few tears. Dr. Hayes? Yes. You must like chocolate. What in the world? Uh, where can I... Oh, just bring it right over there, it's fine. The moose needs to go in the fridge if you aren't gonna eat it right away. And there's a fountain. Uh, it's in the van. I'll set it up for you. What? Oh my gosh, you kid. Oh. <laughs> um, who is this from, Thorne? Oh my gosh. God. no, let's see. Oh. Yes, it's oh. from Thorne. 
Oh my goodness. Wow, now there's a man who knows what he's doing. Valentine's Day, yippee! Your present, more chocolate you can eat in a year. My present, annulment papers. Yeah. Well, you may not have a Valentine this year, but I do know one thing that you're going to have. You're gonna have some chocolate. Ridge, tell me what's wrong. Somebody say something. Honey, let's sit down. No, no, I, I don't need to sit down. I should be standing right now in front of a minister. Liam, do you know what this is about? Yes. Ridge just came from seeing Steffi. This is about Steffi? I feel bad for her. I do, and, and I get that she's your daughter and you're hurting for her. And you may think that, that we're rushing into this, but we're not. Okay, Liam and I would have been married a long time ago if it weren't for Steffi. She just, her marriage is over and she needs to accept that and let Liam move on. Eventually. She doesn't have to today. Okay, that's fine. I, she, she doesn't have to move on immediately, but that, that doesn't mean that we can't get married. Kind of does. What are you talking about? Steffi... didn't sign the annulment papers. What? I tried talking to her. I tried asking her. She won't sign. And I should have told you sooner. I really should have, but... Your mother was certain we could convince her. And I, I, I really thought that I could get through to her, but I couldn't, so I, I, I thought Rich was gonna be able to do it. I'm sorry, but she won't sign. She, she has to sign, she has to. We're getting married today. No, no we're not. Not as long as I'm married to Steffi. Well, I certainly wouldn't be surprised if Steffi tried to pull something today. That's probably it. She called Ridge and, and came up with some other lie. I don't know. She's the one that moved out. Seems like she's trying to accept the situation. Yeah, if that's an act, it's gotta be. But what could Steffi do to get Ridge to stop the wedding? Any number of things. Let's face it, she's not gonna let Hope and Liam get married without a fight. I'm telling you, try it with a brownie. Oh. Er, mm. so good. I don't think I can eat another bite. Oh mm. my gosh, well, you know, I didn't mm. try the brownie. Um, yeah. don't pretend like we're not eating this whole thing today. Hey, I'm depressed. I'm supposed to be eating chocolate. Well, whether it's a gallon of ice cream or a lot of chocolate, it's a very normal response when you're down. Although I wouldn't do it all the time. Don't make it a habit. Mom, one day of chocolate gorging is not an eating disorder. I'm just saying. Mm. And I still can't believe Hope. Now, who plans a wedding with a man who is still married? Well, she probably thought you'd sign those papers. Typical hope. She wants something, she just assumes that she can have it. Mm. Well, I don't care who pressures me. Brooke, Hope, even Dad. I am not giving in. Liam needs his time. I'm try with this. I'm not so sure it's the kind of time he's gonna want, though, given Hope's virginity pledge, especially if it takes six months for your divorce to be final. Oh, well. I don't know what to say about that. No, hope is hope, and if Liam wants to be with her, he's gonna have to accept all her character traits. Chastity included. But now I, I have to do what makes sense for me and my husband. I'm glad you're standing your ground. You know, I'm sure Thorne is imagining eating this with you on Valentine's Day. Mm. Uh huh. Mm. Mm hmm. You know what? What? I didn't even call him. I've got to tell him it arrived. Better yet, you know what? I better go over in person. This is really nice. Okay, is that okay? Yeah, no. It's... You sure? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Especially if you leave me here with all this chocolate. Oh, you can have all of it. All 
right, that's, uh, that's fine. I don't care. Steffi can sign or not sign. I I'm having my wedding today. Oh. No, I've waited so long for this. My wedding day, my, my wedding night. I am not about to give all that up just because Steffi wants to cause trouble. Hope, I don't think she wants that. I mean, she knows the marriage is over. She won't contest a divorce. It's, it's the annulment she has a problem with. Yeah, because it means that I can marry you sooner. And because it means our marriage didn't count. And I, I understand why she's not okay with that. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't. We are, we are getting married today. Well, you could still say your vows and declare your love in front of the minister and the family. That would be lovely. And then you could go down to City Hall and really get married once the, the divorce goes through. Okay, how long does that take? About six months. <laughs> okay, no. No, I, I, I am not going to exchange vows with you today that won't mean anything until six months from now. Honey, whatever commitment you make with Liam, it's real. It doesn't matter what the state says. I didn't wait all this time just, just to be married, you know, only in my heart. Okay, I'm not gonna settle for that. She can't do this to us. We have to get married today. Liam, I, I'm, I can't go to bed alone tonight. Hope I'm not I, going to. I tried getting through to her. We all tried getting through to her. I haven't. Don't let anybody leave. You're going to see Steffi? Yeah, you better believe I am. Liam, we are getting married today. Not tomorrow, not in a week, and certainly not six months from now. I will be back with those papers, and they will be signed. Let her go. Don't know if it'll do any good, but she needs to have her say. I'm sorry. You're nervous. Yeah, aren't you? Yeah, me too. What could be taking so long? Well, it really hasn't been that long. <laughs> it seems longer. That's because we're waiting. We don't know what's going on. Something isn't right. Enough to stop the ceremony? God only knows what Steffi pulled. That's gotta be what this is about. You know, Brooke did seem kind of nervous all day. Well, she wants this day to be perfect for Hope. Yeah, I thought that was just the mother of the bride thing, you know? Hope has had so many disappointments. But nothing, nothing can go wrong today. It may already be too late. And you don't know anything? No, I was ready for the dearly beloveds. You know, you know, maybe one of us should just go down there and try no, to no, figure no, out what no. the... Let's not rush them. Yeah, I really don't want to be walking in the middle of anything. There was a lot of tension in that room. Well, not coming from Liam, he's made up his mind. No, of course, he wants this marriage just as much as Hope does. They have waited so long for this. And she looks so beautiful, getting ready, anticipating the wedding and the wedding night. <laughs> She's so idealistic, you yeah. know, waiting to marriage. I mean, who does that these days? Well, she has principles, and it was her choice. She's a role model. And I'm very proud of her. We all are. Hope deserves to be happy. And she will be with Liam. I just wish they'd get on with it. You know what? That's it. Let's go down there, figure out what's going on. Reverend, thank you for waiting. I know you have a busy schedule. Oh, it's all right. I can wait a while. I'm sure Hope will call after she's talked to Steffi. Sorry, this is such a uh, complicated situation. Life is complicated, Mr. Forrester. <laughs> you can't be in my profession without realizing that. <laughs> Where the heck is Hope? <gasps> she went to see Steffi. All right, what is going on? Steffi didn't sign the annulment papers. What? <sighs> She doesn't want our marriage to be erased. It's messier, but she's more comfortable with a divorce. Oh, please. You're telling me Hope went over there to talk to her? Maybe she'll get through to her. You might get married today after all. I don't know, bro. Steffi was pretty adamant. She has every right not to sign. Her feelings for you are real. 
My wife may not think so, but they are. She loves you. I know. You still love her. I can hear it in your voice. Yes. Then why are you rushing into a marriage with hope? Because we were engaged before. We were, we were together for, for how long? We're not rushing into anything. I may always love Steffi, but my life is with hope. Now, maybe I haven't made that clear enough to Steffi. Maybe the reason she's pushing for a divorce is, is to drag things out, to, to postpone my commitment to hope. But if she thinks that she still has a chance. As long as you love her, there's a chance, Liam. It's possible that's part of Steffi's reasoning, giving you time to think this over. And you know what? That may not be a bad thing. You should really take advantage of it. Hope, what, what are you doing here? Well, I'm not getting married, it seems. I'm sorry. Are you? Okay, prove it. Sign the annulment papers. I'm sorry you thought you could plan a wedding today with my husband. <sighs> Steffi, why are you doing this? Why, why are you stalling the inevitable? Liam wants to marry me. It is wrong for you to keep clinging to your okay, marriage. Okay, my marriage meant something to Liam and me both. He's not gonna pretend that it meant nothing, all right? You're the one pushing an annulment, not him. And how our marriage ends is really none of your business. If it ends, it'll be on my terms. I really think that's, that's fair. Fair? Yeah. Are you kidding me, Steffi? I have no idea how to even talk to you about fair. What was fair about the way your wedding even happened? You know, the reason annulments exist is because of marriages like yours. Now sign the papers. No. Oh my, this is my wedding day. Sign them so I can get on with my life. Oh, okay, clearly Liam hasn't realized anything that you're just a rebound. <gasps> rebound? Do not talk to me about rebound, Steffi. You tricked Liam into marrying you the day after I gave him back his ring. Sign the damn papers. I'm not. Signing. Oh my God! I'm not oh, signing! Oh my, you got it! Oh, you step in! Why are you doing it? Are you getting crazy? I'm gonna have a fucking day! Oh, God! Sign the papers.